Hey everybody, welcome to this episode of Texas Game Hunters. Today we are out in Rochelle, Texas, at the north end of Hill Country, out here at Rochelle Whitetail Outfitters. It, this ranch is, they're setting it up for deer season this year, and they are doing a great job getting it ready. Uh, this morning we had a really nice doe come out while we were turkey hunting, and she just, she was within 15 yards of us, and she just stood there and she couldn't smell me because I had my covert ops cover scent on and she was actually downwind so I thought she was going to be in and gone but she hung out 10 minutes with her fawn and they just sat here and ate ate some of the corn that we had thrown out and it was pretty cool she got so close but she was really good size if it was deer season she definitely would have been in my freezer <laughs> but anyway we're out here this week we're out here for turkey is the main main targeted species a lot of turkey out here. When we came in yesterday, we saw some fanning at uh, close to the gate. Uh, we chased some off when we came in yesterday towards the feeder, just looking around for the first time. Uh, so I have really high hopes, I'll just put it that way, of a nice nice turkey or two being put, put down this weekend. Uh, and then we're also out here for hogs. We have our Pioneer Airbow by Crossman um, that we're going to be using for hogs out here with our ATM Thor HD thermal rifle scope. Uh, we're going to try to put down a couple hogs this weekend with this Airbow. This thing is ridiculously awesome. Uh, 450 feet per second is how fast this shoots. Uh, we sighted in at 30 yards and we were shooting at 10 yards, no problem. 30 yards, no problem. Uh, we even were able to set up the ballistic calculator and went out to 50 yards and we're, and we're do, at 50 yards we were doing about three inch groups with the ballistic calculator on so we didn't even have to uh, readjust anything. So that's, that was pretty cool. So we're going to be out for hogs. Now he has also got some exotics that come through. He's got some axis that come through. He's seen a few elk out here. Um, odds of us seeing one are slim but we're going to be keeping our eye out for that. He's actually working on uh, getting them to come here a little bit more with some of the stuff he's putting out. But anyway, it's getting to be about that time. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. I'm Joseph Truesdale. This is Texas Game Hunters. Right. It's 5.30 now. The feeder should be going off soon. Hey everybody, welcome to TXGameHunters.com. This portion of Texas Game Hunters is brought to you by ATN, the future of optics, OD Green Gun Oil, Magnetic Force Holsters, Sniper Hog Lights, NightVisionUniverse.com, Mormon Taxidermy, Covert Ops Outdoors, SRB Field Rest, Skyline Safety Systems, Fleener's Customs Calls, WolfpinHunts.com and Seven Oaks Ranch. Man, that was pretty cool. Had a big doe and a fawn come in downwind so as soon as I saw them coming up from behind the bushes I thought that they were gonna blow at me and take off but they stayed here for about 10 minutes didn't even know I was here 
they were about 15 yards from me. My decoys are set up at 15 and they were um, just a hair behind them. And they didn't even know I was here. <laughs> that ghost cover scent. Whew, that stuff is awesome. Straight downwind, no clue. Uh, she was definitely a dead deer if this was deer season. <laughs> This portion of Texas Game Hunters is brought to you by ATN, the future of optics, OD Green Gun Oil, Magnetic Force Holsters, Sniper Hog Lights, NightVisionUniverse.com, Mormon Taxidermy, Covert Ops Outdoors, SRB Field Rest, Skyline Safety Systems, Fleener's Customs Calls, WolfpinHunts.com and Seven Oaks Ranch. Covert Ops Outdoors Ghost Cover Scent has a rich woody scent. It is handcrafted in the USA to be long lasting. Only one application per hunt is needed and it comes in an 8 ounce bottle. Just spray it on and disappear to the senses around you. Don't just take our word for it. Visit us today at covertopsoutdoors.com. SRB Field Rest, how awesome is this? A Bushmaster, which isn't the lightest AR-15. Ah, <laughs> uh, and this SRB field rest handles this fine. This is exactly where I need to go. SRBfieldrest.com. <laughs> well, <laughs> oh man, what a bird. Very, very, look at this fan, great fan. Man, I, he, I heard him for a while, all morning long, and I just couldn't get him to come in. Finally, he started to respond to the call. Man, Fleener's custom calls, what a slate call. This guy was just not wanting to come in and he finally got close enough to hear the call and then he just came in right on a string he actually was from this side over here 
and he circled around to the back, he saw the decoy and he just came running in full speed looking for a fight. What a bird. All right, let's get him put away and get set up, move to another spot and see if we can't get another one. We're tucked back into a bush back here, and uh, now anything that crosses back through this crossing point that they're using, we should be able to get a shot, whether they want to come to the decoy or they're just passing through. So uh, it's about 6.30 now. We should start hearing some gobbling soon. we got about two hours left of light. So I'm going to be quiet here, let things calm down so we can hopefully get another one called in and get two in one day. <laughs> that would be nice. This portion of Texas Game Hunters is brought to you by ATN, the future of optics, OD Green Gun Oil, Magnetic Force Holsters, Sniper Hog Lights, NightVisionUniverse.com, Mormon Taxidermy, Covert Ops Outdoors, SRB Field Rest, Skyline Safety Systems, Flinners Customs Calls, WolfpinHunts.com and Seven Oaks Ranch. Covert Ops Outdoors Ghost Cover Scent has a rich woody scent. It is handcrafted in the USA to be long lasting. Only one application per hunt is needed and it comes in an 8 ounce bottle. Just spray it on and disappear to the senses around you. Don't just take our word for it. Visit us today at covertopsoutdoors.com. SRB Field Rest, how awesome is this? A Bushmaster, which isn't the lightest. AR-15. Aw, <laughs> uh, and this SRB field that's handled this fine. This is exactly where I need to go. SRBfieldrest.com Good morning everybody and welcome back to day two of our hunt here at Rochelle Whitetail Outfitters. Man, what a day yesterday. We had, early in the morning yesterday, we had some birds calling out to us and uh, finally got one to respond, called him in. He came in on a string to the Fleener's custom call and we were, we were able to put the hammer down on him and, and dropped him right here 15 yards in front of us. And then yesterday afternoon, slowed down. Uh, didn't get anything really to respond to the calls. They didn't like the decoys and 
So we tried to move back to where they were, but uh, no other Tom showed up. And then last night we uh, decided let's go ahead and go out for some coyotes. And the wind came and picked up to about 25, 30 mile an hour gust. And uh, so nothing was moving last night. We ended up uh, taking one jackrabbit with the uh, ATN Thor HD thermal. Uh, my wife said she had never tried jackrabbit before, so I said, okay, I'll get you one. And so we were able to get one of those and um, about a 30-yard shot. But that's the only activity we had last night. So here we are this morning, day two. Uh, had a few hens come in already. Um, I'm not hearing any gobbling like I did yesterday. I wonder if that wind last night threw them off. The wind seems to have calmed down this morning so I'm very very hopeful that we'll be able to call one one again today so uh, stay tuned day two Rochelle uh, Whitetail Outfitters <music> Well, we finally hear some gobbles in the very far <laughs> distance to our left back here. But with this wind, they can't hear my call because I'm just barely hearing their gobbles. So I'm hoping that they're headed this sort of this way and they can get within range. Because with them gobbling and this call, we'll get them to come in. We just need them to get it where we can hear, where they can hear this. There he is again, all very, very far out there. And then with that wind, it's hard for me to hear him too. That wind's still gusting about 15, maybe some 20 mile an hour gust. So let's cross our fingers. Well, I think I know why the birds are shutting down this morning. That nice big thunderstorm that's rolling in. We don't hear any thunder yet, but with those dark clouds, and they keep getting closer. And uh, with electronic equipment out here, I think it may be time to call it a morning and uh, wait it out and see what happens. But uh, man, the forecast was calling for no rain today too. And then all of a sudden something blows in, but hey, that's how it goes. So let's get packed up, get out of here, and we'll be back this afternoon. fires in a row that is look at this two in a row 15 yards and 20 yards away well that's part of hunting and it's a brand new box brand new box and <laughs> 
All right, well, all we can do is take a breath so it doesn't affect us. Calm, back, calm down and just wait for the next one. It's part of, it's part of hunting, I guess. Uh. This portion of Texas Game Hunters is brought to you by ATN, the future of optics. OD Green Gun Oil, Magnetic Force Holsters, Sniper Hog Lights, NightVisionUniverse.com, Mormon Taxidermy, Covert Ops Outdoors, SRB Field Rest, Skyline Safety Systems, Flinner's Customs Calls, WolfpinHunts.com, and Seven Oaks Ranch. Covert Ops Outdoors Ghost Cover Scent has a rich woody scent. It is handcrafted in the USA to be long lasting. Only one application per hunt is needed and it comes in an 8 ounce bottle. Just spray it on and disappear to the senses around you. Don't just take our word for it. Visit us today at CovertOpsOutdoors.com SRB Field Rest, how awesome is this? A Bushmaster, which isn't the lightest AR-15. <laughs> oh, and this SRB Field Rest handles this fine. This is actually where I need to go. SRBFieldRest.com Oh man, whew, oh, I did not think that was going to happen, oh my gosh, two for one, <laughs> oh man, with this weather, I just, I was, my, my spirit was just sinking down that I didn't think it was going to happen, I did not think that we were going to see near as much as activity as what we saw tonight. Well, <laughs> Patience definitely pays off. We did not think that we were going to get anything this evening. The way this weather rolled in. And then we started seeing some hens come through. We saw a few single hens, then a group of two. And then we saw a group of five hens come through. And every single group that came through, we were desperately looking for a beard. Because <laughs> we needed our second our second turkey down for the weekend and uh, but we didn't see it so we let him walk it was cold I was sort of shivering by the tree because I didn't expect it to get as cold as it was so I had layers on but it was getting a little thank God for this trees and shirt because it's it's thin but yet it blocks the wind and it kept me hid hidden right back by the tree really really well and then after those group of uh, hens came through we had about a group of four males came strutting through by the feeder and I, I was like this is it my heart started get pumping and it was just a waiting game to get I wanted to get two of them lined up so I could try to get two for one and these guys got lined up just about perfect and we took the shot you know they're not trophies but we worked really hard for these for these toms this weekend and I'm happy with it and so I'm definitely happy with this hunt. Rochelle Whitetail Outfitters, man, what an experience. 
they got turkey everywhere. We've seen a lot of deer. We've heard coyotes. Uh, what an experience. If, if you guys are looking for a turkey hunt, for a whitetail hunt, you get you got to give Danny a call. He will definitely hook you up. One other thing I want to mention is that as hunters, I think we give each other too much grief of what's considered a trophy. And like I said earlier, if you work hard for it and you're happy with it, then that's and it's legal, that is all that matters. We give we get too much grief from anti-hunters as it is we should not be getting hard on each other for something that's not a trophy in our eyes but what is in somebody else's so remember that the next time you see somebody post a picture online and it may not be something that you killed but it's legal support that person and support their decision to make a legal kill because we're all in this together guys and we got to make sure that we stick together but anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'm Joseph Truesdale. This has been TXGameHunters.com.